Oh, you can't really read that at all the way the sun is. But I'm at Ajo Way and Forges Avenue, walking onto the public right of way adjacent to county property, the Kino Sports Complex, which is currently leased to FEMA, I guess, according to a security guard I talked to last time who was incorrect about other things. This is not a private road. There is no way that Forges Ave going into the, the hospital is a private road that's annexed to Banner Health. I, I've learned that uh, Banner Health doesn't have the kind of relationship with the University of Arizona that I thought. Oh, can we focus? Whoa, what is up with that? What, it's not focusing at all. Wow, okay. Damn, we have some focus ish focus issues. Got focus issues today. Need to get some Ritalin for my phone for the camera. Uh, but Banner University Medicine is a nonprofit organization that partners with the University of Arizona through an academic affiliation agreement. So they don't actually take public money. And they are uh, an LLC. They're an LLC and they're a nonprofit. I don't know. GIS shows the owner as Banner University Medical Center LLC. Uh, but the University of Arizona describes them as a nonprofit. So they get to use that A, not because they're part of the university, but because they're partnered with the university. So I guess, you know, they get to exclude people from their property who are exercising constitutional rights if that's their prerogative, right? Like, because a private business can just do that. They can just say, we don't want you documenting or recording anything that goes on here. Go away. All right. But regardless of whether, uh, well, it seems clear that this has been leased to FEMA. They did not put the fences over the public right of way. So so what happens there? Is the public right of way abolished? <laughs> I kind of don't think so. So that's, I'm still in, the, in a similar place to where I was last time, which is that I'm unsure, you know? I only know so much about uh, the nature of these properties and my rights to be here. I talked to that guy the other day, yesterday. So I don't know if you can read that sign, COVID vaccine clinic ahead. That's a Banner University Medicine sign. It's a FEMA operation. So I've learned something about that as well. Reading the operational directive or whatever it is, the DHS, Department of Homeland Security memo on photography of federal installations thinking that that kind of applies because FEMA has control of the site. So it's kind of a federal installation. And so I, I actually, again, I don't know. I don't know if that applies at all because it's not actually federal property, but a tenant on federal property may exclude people if they want, or they can exclude photography and, and, and video, videography. And they do it in like uh, the example they gave, I think was the social security administration. Who's a tenant in a federal building. You are allowed to go in there, but they are allowed by federal law, I guess, to exclude 
photography. I read a bunch of FEMA stuff about their emergency operations centers. Whether this qualifies as one, I don't know. You know, nothing in there about photography. So they're not really a tenant on federal property. They're leasing private property from Banner because that's not a sports complex parking lot, according to the maps. So if it is, that's a different question, sort of. They're either leasing private property or they're leasing county property. So I think we're gonna get talked to. I'll make sure I'm not blocking the sidewalk. I just wanted to be in slightly thicker shade. Is why I stopped here. Hey, man. Hello. What are you doing? Uh, I'm re making a recording. Uh, well, you can't, you can't videotape that. Why not? Because there's, it's the rights. It's the rights? Yeah, they don't want nobody to record the, the site. Who's they? The banner. Banner? Yeah. So, does does Banner own this sidewalk? Well, not really, but they don't, they don't want nobody to film the site. Yeah. I, I understand that they don't want me to. I don't understand why. It, it's, I guess it's privacy for them. Privacy. The, privacy for them and the patients. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I've been told that before, so I, I already knew, and now you've let me know yeah. again. So, I don't know. It'd be fun if someone would explain a little more about why, uh, how standing here is going to infringe on someone's privacy and things like that. But, but anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm standing on a public right of way, so. I know that, but you're still recording that one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's still the same thing. Uh, it's not the same thing, not at all. Nope. If I'm standing in a, in a public area that's publicly accessible, I can record all I want. Yeah, I guess you're right. No one here has said uh, license plates are protected information or faces are protected information. The fact that people are here is protected health information, uh, which is only barely marginally sort of true. They're identifiers that link to protected health information and the dissemination of that information is governed for covered entities under HIPAA. So a hospital cannot use your license plate or, or divulge it to someone else without following the, the regulations or use it to link to your protected health information. But as probably anyone with common sense knows, the mere fact of a license plate being visible and recording a license plate or a face at a medical institution is in no way interacting with HIPAA. It's got nothing to do with it. That's the only, the only reason I bring that up is why else would they think that there's some reason to stop people from filming out here? There's activity in these 
tents over here where there wasn't last time. And I don't mean last time like yesterday when I came here and it was desolate. Hello. Can we help you? Can you help me do what? Right now, just asking what you're doing. Oh, uh, I'm just making a recording. Okay, because we don't really allow video recordings for our patient confidentiality here. Yeah, uh, I, I understand that. People keep telling me that. Uh, so what's what's confidential okay. that I would get You've from... You've been here a couple times and we've talked to you already. Oh, so I don't know that that matters. So I'll have them... Uh, so where where is here exactly, this spot right here? Do I have a deputy on site? Before, I mean, well, whatever, you already did it. I need the sheriff to come and have a conversation with a nice gentleman who is taking pictures of the site. Where? I'm over by checkpoint A. We'll have him come back to you again. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Could still use more information, but thank you. So I'm going on an assumption that this public right of way has not been uh, abolished, un unmade, that this is definitely still a public sidewalk with no signage of any kind, abutting county property and what I believe to be a public road, I don't know, maybe the guy is right and they did annex this road and this part of Forges Avenue is actually privately owned by Banner and they didn't see fit to put any signs to that effect. I suppose that's possible. It's also possible given all of this shuffling and redealing that's going on with properties you know, it's the county, it's leased to FEMA, and they're doing things with Banner and da-da-da-da-da. It's possible that somehow this sidewalk is now not public access. But don't you think you could put a sign somewhere <laughs> to that effect? I mean, I kind of, I kind of would. But that's just me. I would I would get closer actually I mean that sidewalk goes all the way along that side street to the site itself but there's no telling how long this conversation could take and this is where there's shade so I could go across the street I wonder how this is gonna go Stay in the shade. How are you? So, How are you? So there's a sheriff's deputy, I assume, search and rescue. Yes. Doing some kind of an investigation or something, maybe. Maybe. Okay. That's what I'm asking you. How are you? Um. Okay, so I know every deputy that's worked here has talked to you about filming people here, right? So there's one deputy that works here? No, I'm asking you that question. Oh, you said you knew it. That doesn't sound like a question when you say it that has way. Has the deputies that have worked here talked to you before in the past, the last couple of days? So that's a that's a solid investigatory question sure. uh, that you probably have access to the answer to that? No, I don't. I'm asking you. Oh. I've been told that it's probable, oh, well, but I'm, I don't I'm know not, the answer. I'm... You're the one that they're talking to, so therefore you'd be the one to have the answer. Hmm. It's my question to you. Oh, I see. Well, I, I'm not interested in assisting you with your investigation. It seems to be focused on me and the potential of some criminal activity or something. No, it's just curious. It's an investigatory oh. question. So do you, do you do that a lot while you're on duty? You just walk around and ask people stuff you're sure. curious about? So here's the deal. What, you oh, here we give go. Me your name? Here's the deal. You're going to at least give me your name? I don't even know what to say. 
I'm asking you if you're going to give me your name. Yes or no? It's a simple question. At least? I'm at least going to give you my name? I'm asking you if you're willing to give me your name. Oh, no. Not at all. Okay, that's fine. It's a question. It's just a question. It's a question. So here's the right. deal. Um, Bob, here's the deal. You sure. know they're doing a COVID vaccine here, right? You can read, Ooh, correct? Are, are you allowed to release that information? Can you There's read? There's a lot of secrecy. Can you read? I'm uh, assuming you can read. Well, that would, you can't that's read, also a solid investigatory question I'm not read, willing to help you with. If you can't read, well, I'm going to tell you what that sign says. Okay. COVID vaccine clinic ahead. Should I be extra reverent or startled or? No. I'm just, it's asking if you can read or not. If you can't read, that's fine. That's why I'm telling you this. What they're doing here is they're, they're giving vaccines to people, right? Since it's a vaccine clinic, the assumption is they're giving vaccines to people. Correct. Yes uh, or no? I'm not willing to take Would that Would you agree leap? with that? Nope. You don't agree with that? I don't know. I don't know anything about okay. that. So here, they're giving vaccines to people. So the answer is yes. So they're now I know. They're giving vaccines to okay. people. Okay, according to you. According to everybody that's working here. And to me, yes. Have you talked to everybody who's working I'm here? I'm giving you a statement. I really want to know that, that question. You're the one who would have the answer to that. Do you? The people you? I've talked to, yes. Okay. So I've talked to a lot of people here. Okay. So the people that I've talked to here, yes, they are giving vaccines to people. Okay. They're giving vaccines. Right. Therefore, since they're giving vaccines to people, those people are considered patients. Yes. They're considered patients at that point. Okay. So certain patients have yeah. privacy. Correct? They, they have privacy. They have a right to privacy. Would you agree or disagree with that? Uh, well, I'm not really sure about that. I don't, I don't know the law or whatever okay. about privacy. They have a right to privacy. Patients have a right to privacy. It's called the HIPAA Act. Okay. Okay? Have you ever heard of that? Uh, I think I've heard of it. Okay, it's called the HIPAA Act. So patients do have a right to privacy. Sure. Even though this is a county property, and yeah, I'm right in the middle of your camera. If I move this way, you can turn it towards me. I don't care. Oh, good. So here's the deal. <laughs> You're allowed to film me. I don't want you filming the patients, their vehicles, or the patients. Mm -hmm. Does that make Do you understand that? I understand what you're saying. Okay, do not, please do not film I the patients. I will film the do patients. Not, do I not. will film the patients. Do not film the patients. I will film the patients. Why do you feel you can film the patients? Because you're apparently deeply mistaken. Uh, that's why I'm asking you. Why do you feel you can film the patients? Because I'm not a covered entity under the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Okay. Uh, I have no obligation to handle the identifiers that are publicly visible in any particular way. Okay, what do you do with your video? Uh, I suppose you could probably find that out if you did more investigation. I'm asking you, what do you do with your video? Uh, I don't think that's pertinent to this question that we're engaged in right now. Well, I, I, I do actually, so that's it's, what I'm asking. Well, I'm if telling you, you it's not. Me, if you don't want to answer me, you don't have to answer me. Well, that's I'm true too, you, but I am you answering you and I'm saying that it's not pertinent. That's, that's not answering my question. Though. It is it's answering your, opinion, your question. Though, it's part. not my opinion. It's an it's All a right, so bald here's the fact. Here, it's here's a straight gonna, fact. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna request of you then. Okay. You can't go on the property over there. Is that true? I don't want you on the property. You don't want me on the property. I do not want you on the property. So so I can't go over there and get vaccinated. If you have the if you have an appointment, yes. Okay. Actually, right now I don't think they're taking appointments, are they? There's no appointment. So yeah, if you don't have an appointment, you don't need an appointment right now. So if you need to get vaccinated, you can go down there. They just have to register you and make sure you haven't been vaccinated before. And what okay. if you have, which one you have one or two shots and which which uh, right. manufacturer you have. Okay. So if you want to, walk down there and you can get vaccinated. What okay. they're going to say, though, is right in the underneath the tents, they're going to have, I believe they have signs saying no filming. They do. No photography. Yeah. So if you're going to do that, then you can't film or photography there. Right. Understand? Uh, I do understand that. I still have questions about it. I'm not really sure. clear on how that works with its, what, FEMA has leased the site and they're... No, the I think the county's still running it. I believe the so county's still running it, yeah, but so FEMA's supporting Yeah, so the county's running it, they can't stop people from taking photographs. Uh, there. Underneath there, I believe they can because of that little bitty bubble okay, that they have. Okay, if, if there's an enclosed space... I then, believe that little then, bubble yeah. they have underneath the tents, I believe, they, okay. I believe they have the right there to say no Right. at that point. Okay, I, 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 I would agree with that. I would too. That's an enclosed area, expectation of privacy, sure. absolutely. And that's why I'm asking you for, even back here, depending on how far you can zoom with that thing, because I don't know if that's a little zoom you don't need to on know. there or not. I'm asking. I, I know, but you don't need to know. It's not pertinent. Oh my God. Okay, so here, well, here's what I'm asking. So if you're filming here, that's you're, you're fine filming here. What I'm asking you is, again, so why are we talking? little bubble right here, because I'm going to give you some guidance right here. I don't need your guidance. Okay, listen to me. I came pretty prepared. So here's no, what we're going to do. No, go away. Go away. Go away. You can go away just as easily. I was here first, sir. 
<laughs> What's your name and badge number, by the way? 1262 Ramirez. Thank you. So it doesn't matter um, the I was here first clause. That part doesn't matter. Oh, so, uh, well, in a, in a polite society, it kind of does. You no, walked up to me, and sure you're going to tell me to go away. No, Even I said the, you're going to tell me I'm can. more than welcome to be here, sure. and then you're going to tell me to go away. I said you can't. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I said you can't. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Well, they don't have to. Thank you. So what I'm going to say is still... Goodbye. I'm still going to say what I'm going to say. Goodbye. Is you're dismissed. Not over there. Go is away. Don't go go away. Zoom in go away. On those go folks away. Over there. Go away. You don't go have away. to zoom in. Go to film them away. Over there. Go away. That part I'm okay go with. Away. Filming go back away. here is fine. Go away. But you go just can't away. film them go zooming away. in go over away. there when they're go talking away. to the patients go. and they're getting go. their vaccines go. and on go their vehicles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Otherwise, go. you're more than welcome go. to film here. Go away. Other than that, don't do that part. Go. There's your vehicle right over there. Go get in it. Go. Do you have any questions? Go away. Do you have any questions for go me? Go away. Go, Do you have any additional go, questions? Go, 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 go. Any questions? Go, go, I'm go, assuming go, by your answers or what your statement is, yes. you have no further questions. Go, go. Do you have any questions? Go, Fine. go. That'll work. Go. You're free to stay as well. Oh, I know. I'm just checking an email and a text that maybe it has to do with this, but I'm not sure. Uh, you got a second? Sure. Yeah. We had uh, encountered the person last week as well as yesterday. I'm sorry, what? We encountered this person last week. Oh, I know. Email check of shame or whatever. I'm not into the shame thing. That's still that's way more than no, six no, no, feet. No. I got I got the word that you don't shower, so stay stay down. Fuck with you, me. asshole. Stay down. Fuck with you, me. asshole. Please stay. I'm asking. Fuck you, asshole. Stay down. With me. I am downwind as it happens. Further. Yeah, this is six feet. Further. It's fine. It's actually Further. less than six yeah, feet. Go, go back to like two more feet. Yeah. Oh, I know. So um, what I want to doing. at right here i believe it's fine i'm not yeah. sure hey have they told you it can be here or on the other side of the um this the little sidewalk or the driveway do you know nah, where the boundary nobody is because i was... yeah you were out here last week they told you they told me a lot of things most no, of them weren't no. true well you weren't listening to preliminarily what oh, i yeah. think right now preliminary what i think right now biggest no no talk asshole. to me talk to me dude preliminary do you, do you practice preliminary talk to me what i think right now but i'm not 100 percent sure is I think you have to be on the other side of the driveway. Yeah, well, I think. So so, so I'm not that, sure. So that would mean that the public right of way was abolished. And that's it, why I said I think. Okay. Okay. Because I believe they have the contract, I'm, like you said, with the county doing the vaccination of the FEMA. They are. If you have barriers here, they have signs. They have cones. That's why I said I think. Okay. I'm gonna look into it and try to find out better right now. But as as I think right now, you're okay here until that's, I get better information. It might be over there on the other side of the driveway, but I don't you, know yet. If you do get better information, I would love to see some kind of documentation. And I know you're not necessarily out. required to provide that. True. If, if you find out that, that it is not lawful for me to be present here and filming, I would love to know that. Sure. But I would really love to see something to back it up or at least a direction that I could go and do my own research. Yeah, because absolutely. So like I said, as of right now, I it's one of two things. I think you either have to be on the other side of the driveway. You know what driveway I'm talking about? It's right there behind yep. you, like 50 feet. Yep. Or right here and this is probably about as far as you can go i believe mm. i'm not sure which one because the vaccine sign that one's going to be probably right now the hard stop that's not the vaccine sign that sign is nothing well that's what i'm looking at right now until yeah. i get better information so do me the favor stay right here is fine 
until I can get better information. Is that willing to at least compromise with me a little bit? Uh, well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to agree to that. Uh, this sure does look like public sidewalk. All I agree the, with all you. the way. But I, like I said, given the fact what the vaccine and the clinics here and who's under contract where, because it's county property. There's U of A property. There's FEMA stuff there's going no on. There's U of A property here. Banner's part of Banner oh Kino's part gosh. of U of A. No, it is not. So then, what we're looking at here, I said right in here. Okay, so there's no U of A. I'm trying to here. find You're, out. Well, that's a that's a very confusing thing to say because there's sure. not. And I'm trying to figure it out right now because this is definitely county. FEMA has a hand in it too because they're helping with this. Right. And then Banner also has a hand in it because they're helping with it as well. Right. And that building right there is Banner. It is. Okay, so I don't know if they have help here or not, or a part of this as far as why not. So let me find out if I can get an answer for you. Okay. But I'm requesting. Stay right here because you have no business and you don't want a vaccine oh, as business, far as I can tell. Business, schmizness. So like, if you want to hang out here. We're not talking about business. That's fine. Stay, stay you, here then. Uh, another then thing you point, could do I for me. Wind up another you thing since you it. said that. Another thing what? you could do since you said if I have no business here. Another thing you could do for me is bring any kind of documentation that describes what official business would be um, and who's and who's authorized to determine that under what criteria. What other requests do you have? That's a solid one. I'd love that. I'd love to see that. Okay, I've never been requests? able to find anything about that except for very specifically. Okay, say, say that again. Stuff. Then. What official business is. In, in terms of this site, who's authorized to determine that and under what criteria. That should be clear, that should be publicly available. If there's anything to that, that I have to have some kind of particular so business in order, to they be would, here. In order, and I, I'm not sure, so in order for that to happen, they would probably have to ask you questions. Would you agree? I, I would agree that they would have to, and that's part of the reason that it's not a thing. Wait, it's not a you thing. said two different things there. No, I did not. You would agree that they have to ask you questions or you agree? They would that's... have to ask, ask me questions in okay. order to find out what my business is. And there's no provision for that. Oh, provision to ask you questions. Correct. Okay. I see what you're saying. All I right. mean, until I get up to the booth or whatever, you know, what booth? The, where they're doing the vaccine. If I went, if I went there, well, you wouldn't even be able to get that far right now. Anyway, sure. So what would happen? I don't know, but you wouldn't even get that far right now. If you're not how getting a I, vaccine. How would I not get that far? If you're not getting a vaccine, that's what they're checking people for if they're getting vaccines. Oh, okay. So if you're not getting a vaccine, then you wouldn't be able to go in there. Okay, that's that's debatable. Sure it is. But if you're not getting a vaccine, that's that's exactly what we're talking about. That's that's a that's a clearly defined like sort of official business thing that I would have to be getting a vaccine in order to access that site. If it's county property and it's being used by the county and FEMA and has a others, hand in yeah. it, yada, da, 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 whatever. It's publicly accessible. It's a publicly accessible operation. Also, Second Amendment rights to document public officials in the course of their duties. That's that's official business. Which is me. Correct. Which is you, which is FEMA, which is county officials, which is people administering the vaccine. Mm, even if, they, yeah, the, even if they're private contractors, the they yeah. have, they're, they're working in a public capacity. I, I'm not gonna argue with that because I don't know for a fact, but you, I think you might have an argument there. But I don't know for sure. Sure. Because they're also running to the whole HIPAA thing as well. Well, yeah, but we're not. Because if I can, if I can walk up there with my camera and record pr uh, protected health information, they're violating HIPAA. No, I don't agree yeah, with that. Yeah, that that's one, I don't agree 100 percent. All right, let me go find Cut some answers for you. Are you gonna Are you gonna be hanging out right here then? I mean, yeah, I, I won't push that. I don't. I don't but even. Let me see if I can get you an answer somewhere, just so it might take me a bit. I'm not gonna ignore uh, you, but give well, me a little then... bit. I don't okay. know. I'm going to try to get you an answer. I don't okay. know right now appreciate on what you're trying to look for. Okay. Okay. All right. Stay here. Well, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to move around well, in this area right here. Well, I might just leave depending on how long it takes. That's fine. Like I said, I'm going to try to get you an answer. I appreciate it. Fact check of shame. So easy to discover lies and confusion. And I can hear some people saying like, oh, but it's an emergency. And you know, this is a crisis and there's this stuff that they have to do on the spur of the moment. They set these up, these valiant uh, safety and health warriors are out there doing their thing and you're just screwing with them. And they've had how long to, to put something together that's reasonable if they don't want people documenting the, the operation and they have a legal basis to do so, why have they not put up signs? Why did someone not think of that ahead of time and make that clear? They have apparently put up signs, signs printed even there at this site. I believe it says it's printed on the Paradigm Laboratories. I don't even know. But uh, 
I'm not buying it. I'm just not buying it. Like, They really should be more, more prepared, especially since I'm at least one person who has brought the issue up already numerous times at other sites. So how come nothing has changed other than the fact that they now ignore uh, uh, someone filming from a public sidewalk? They now understand that part, at least at the downtown site. And so what I'm going to do is actually just walk. And I'm going to stop the video until they come back with something. Because this, this could get boring real fast if I just keep talking. All right. Uh, and just for good measure. Walk up. The shade is leaving this spot. So there is public right of way on the other side as well, despite there not being a sidewalk. So I think it's a similar situation. I also think it would amp them up a little if I were to go stand over there in the shade. So then they'd be all like, no, this is Banner. It's Banner property. And I'm fairly confident that that is a public right of way. There are uh services there we, we we a lot of people pointed this out last time that that green box over there is a transformer or whatever for underground electric lines so there are public utilities running along that is that a hundred percent does that a hundred percent mean that there's a right away on that side and that that's not just you know, yeah, I don't know. So I have my doubts about that, just enough to make it an uncomfortable place to stand, literally and figuratively. Whereas this, there's a sidewalk. It's pretty darn clear. And by gosh, do you need clarity when it comes to these people? Here comes uh, possibly Mr. Canine. I don't know, more security. He might just be relief. That dude, I'm mad at that big guy. I'm mad at him. He's a troll. He's, an, he's a troll and he's on duty as a security guard. He's doing nothing to make the situation better. It's ridiculously unprofessional. And it'll come back. So I wonder what uh, Deputy Ramirez, was it Deputy? Uh, I wonder how he's finding out. So who is he asking? Or what is he looking up? Are these guys walking down here? No way. No way. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it, dude. Hey, could you just take your hands out of your pockets for me? Thank you. Could you do it again? Yeah, don't approach me. Don't approach me. Are you just, are you just using the sidewalk?
Don't approach me with your hands in your pockets. Do not approach me with your hands in your pockets. I'm stopping right here. If you're using the sidewalk, please proceed. Thank you. What's your YouTube channel? I was just curious. I want to see how I look on camera. I'm not going to bother you. I just want to know how I can look at myself on camera. You've reached your capacity for excrement. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, you were in a much better mood last week. How do we address you, by the way? I have a P.O. box. Okay, then what's your P.O. box? Yeah, I'm not going to... refer to you as that, or just P.O.? Protected information. Well, do you have a nickname? Deputy Ramirez calls me Bob. Bob? Yeah. Okay, Bob. Have a good day, Bob. You too, Stephen. I do. I, I plan on. Right on. I, I appreciate that. I'm glad when people have a good day. Well, it's important. Let the little things bother you, then oh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the use? Right. Well, can I just ask what the ultimate goal, goal of that you're doing? Bob. No, we're just back. Sir. Can I ask what the ultimate goal is? So, Bob, you got your own uh, YouTube channel? No? So you don't do anything with this video? I, so there's no no end results. No achievement. What huh. he's gonna try to do is get you worked up so he can film it, yada yada yada. Well he's doing a pretty shitty job of it. No no end result. That's what I'm asking. No achievement. That's what I'm asking. Does anything change from your efforts? I can sit out here. What's a hackathon? I've never heard of that. Is that hacky sack? No. Bob, do you need some water? You're shaking off the bed there. Thirsty? Get you some water. Right, the deputy's back. Oh. Hello. Hi. You guys, got any questions or anything else for him? Oh, no, 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 I was just no. trying to find out how I can watch the video. I want to see how I look on camera. Yeah. Is that a um, like a diffuser, a light in the front, a little square? Or what is that? Uh, yeah, it's an LED light. Oh, okay. And a license plate reader and protected medical health information scanner. <laughs> a good one. But uh, I don't believe that part. Okay. But I'll believe the light part because I don't know what that is. So, um, Still, you're not gonna give me your name, right? Correct. So I don't know what to call you. All right. So here's here's what we're gonna go off of. You can stay on the sidewalk right here. You can't go in the facility like where that red truck is. You can't go past the fencing. You can't go past the gate. You can't go past right up here where these guys are. And don't bother the security guys. <laughs> How fair is that? Oh. Let the security that's... guys do their job. Which is to what? Bother me? Nope. To go out there and to deal with the potential patients that are coming in. Okay. Make sense? Uh, so you're not going in the parking lot, you're not going to the facility, you're not going up to the tents, 
you're gonna go you can stay right here in the sidewalk don't go in the parking lot over here don't go past the red truck and don't go past where the security guys are and please don't bother the security guys let them deal with the patients that are going in clear understood sure. yeah all right let's go guys all right have a good day bob we've covered yeah. that do great things man great things Has anything changed? Is there an end result? Find out in the Twilight Zone.